Hello, welcome to Heavy Therapy. My name is Patrick, and this is another collection update. Today's update, I have three vinyl that I'd like to show that I picked up over the last few weeks. First up is a local band. This is their debut album, and I'm talking about Storm Roller and their album, Under the Burning Eclipse. They're from St. Louis. They play, well, I like how they describe what they play, right? They play pure imperial black metal warfare. And that is what it sounds like, black metal warfare. Um, fantasy themed lyrics. Um, in between every proper song is an instrumental interlude really connects the um, album together. Um, Storm Roller is a really, really cool, badass name. And yeah, um, really awesome gatefold. Lyrics inside. Um, just black vinyl, so I won't show it off. Um, this is on Napalm Records, came out this year. Um, I would say it's galloping, riffy black metal. If you like Vendir, you might like Storm Roller. But also in, in, in a local shop that I was in, I remember they described it as sort of like if Mastodon played black metal. I don't necessarily agree with that, but I think what we all came to an agreement, all three of us in that conversation, was that what we're trying to say is it might even be for, fan, for fans who, for people who aren't necessarily that much into black metal, but if you like metal in general, it's heavy, it's riffy, um, really great musicianship all throughout, and a really impressive debut. It has 19 tracks. The runtime is one hour and 24 seconds. Um, the artwork and layouts are by Giannis Nikos of Remedy Art Design. And yeah, um, that's my first pickup. Next up, we have a tech death band, a technical death metal band called Surrection. This album is called Monument of the End from 2018. Surreption is from Sweden, and this record was released by Sumerian Records. Eight tracks, 33 minutes and 12 seconds, comes in, does its business, and leaves. Doesn't stay around too long. Catchy, melodic, tech death. Um, the album cover basically, you know, it it looks like it could be a death core band, but it's properly understood technical death metal. Um, yeah, and the vinyl. Oh, let, first, let me show you the gatefold. I like when I get gatefolds. Nice display. You can read the lyrics quite easily. Um, right, this talking about this dystopian future and. This vinyl is worth showing off. So, this comes on orange with purple slatter, sweater. Um, right, almost like a sunburst, almost like an eyeball. Right, very cool. Um, yeah, almost looks like the sun, huh? So, side B right there. Yeah, very pretty vinyl variant. And artwork is by Kaylin Stockermans. And um, I would say for fans of Art Spire as well, um, Tech Death. Um, tech Death is not my favorite genre. Um, I actually got this album in a mystery bag and liked it enough to keep it in my collection. 
Surreption, Monument of the End, 2018, is my second edition. So, third and last but not least, I have the Danish band, the band from Denmark, Mole, and their album, Jord, from 2018. This came out on Holy Roar Records. This is post black metal shoegaze a la Death Heaven, but I think better than Death Heaven. Um, another album that I got in that mystery vinyl grab bag. Very, very great vinyl, metal vinyl grab bag that I got. Um, Never heard of this band before, put it on, have now listened to it four or five times, and yeah, keeping it in my collection. Very good. Deeply impressive post-black metal shoegaze. And if you're worried about shoegaze dragging it down, it does not. Um, it's kind of blended into the black metal, into the post-black metal. Um, there's one song that turn that is all instrumental that is a bit more shoegaze but it, it still has this groove and really easy to get into um heavy riffs very interesting vocal style that actually reminds me of a little bit of that nostalgic feeling it sort of reminds me of 2000 era in flames the vocal style um, art direction is by john gottlieb slash no heroes um eight tracks 41 minutes 28 seconds here is the rest of it the inner the inner sleeve has the lyrics on it and this is a nice classy final variant Side A, this is described as a red slash silver with blue splatter. That is what it is. Side B, and yeah, okay. four fans of Death Heaven, but it's legitimately um, better. And um, they actually have a new single out right now. So they're still they're still an active band. This is that was their debut album, Jord. Wanna keep this short and sweet. Um that those are my vinyl um that I received over the last few weeks. Um thank you for all your feedback. Thank you for your subscriptions. Um please comment like and subscribe if this is the first time you've seen this video please subscribe or this channel please subscribe again i'm patrick from heavy therapy and you can also find me over at twitter at heavy underscore therapy and i'm more active there i'm, I'm active there daily i do first reactions again vinyl updates now spinning photos um just oh it's it's, it's a it's it's my my twitter that is totally dedicated to music so yeah i'm there all day long talking to a bunch of people the the uh, community over there is top notch um like it is here on youtube so comment uh who else should i check out if i like uh these, these bands here um if you check out these bands for the first time let me know if you like them or not um pleasure seeing you all thanks for watching and talk to you all very soon